Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So here I just want to commentate you through a Master Exemplar's Reliquary run on the Rogue Assassin. Keep in mind this is with the Rogue Assassin's bug with Toxic Blades and Smoke Bomb. So if you were to do this again with that, with that bug being fixed, you would use Slashing Blade instead. We've also got Path of Blades for a bit of air of effect damage on the adds. And our Artifact Call got a bit screwed over right there by getting petrified. I guess I didn't see the red and well stood in it and took the punishment. Now we are double phasing so we have two waves of adds but smoke bomb plus toxic blades and all that does really well. We got screwed over just there because of the red line from the boss and also being ray stacked on top of that. You can see in the bottom right there we have the spell timer for withering ray. I also have one for bleed which I set up for some DPS check and I guess it's still there. I did not pay attention to it at all. But then below that you see the mini parser which shows your damage of the player and then to the right of that your DPS, your damage per second. And that damage per second is going to go up and down all over the place. Right now we have the damage over time from Withering Ray. Luckily it wasn't a crit, it's only 137k. But we can see the timer there, five seconds. So we need to move away from the group within two seconds. There we go. And it hits and we survive because we're nicely full HP. And we just got to kill all of these adds. This phase, it's so easy to pick up so many unnecessary deaths without too much fault of your own. I would say this is not really my fault. This is going to be, yeah. Matrix's fault. I wasn't exactly very happy about that death because that totally could have been avoided. He's a ranger. He could stay a little bit away. Thank you. But now we're going artifact call again. Going with that daily, getting the tactician, smoke bomb, death strike, and we'll, we still have path of blades. That's not really great. We're going to switch that over to assassinate in just a sec when we can get our cooldowns. And then, yeah, withering rays up on somebody. There we go. Luckily we didn't die to that one. We have the mirrors. We need to move. This this trial is filled with a lot of randomness on top of some decently complex mechanics. I would say it's not as mechanically complex as, say, uh, Tower of the Mad Mage or even Zariel if you want to throw that in. But just the randomness, the sheer amount of RNG on what mechanics you get when and the timing creates a lot of unpredictability and thus a lot of challenge. Some people can hate the trial as a result. Now, I don't think we're doing such great timing here with our abilities. I am focusing on surviving. You have so many mechanics all the time. Like here we have the green line. We're getting continually pulled towards the tank. We need to group up and yeah. So my timing on bleeds I think is a bit bad. I should be using more gloaming cuts and less duelist flurries. Also my stats, if you want to pause it there, are pretty abysmal as well. Using the like underdark gear and not balancing that properly with regards to making sure we're still reaching caps. But again, we do fine here. I totally could have optimized better. Ideally don't have two skulls right here, but I don't think we could have helped with either of the deaths. I'm going to make sure to switch over to Wicked Reminder here as I don't want to Deft Strike, let's say, Atropel and end up maybe falling off. I, I didn't want to risk it. A run before I had tried Deft Striking Tiamat and well, yeah, you just teleport over the edge. Here was a bad mistake by me. I went and used my mount on Zario when she was locked. So that was a big amount of damage wasted. Here we're going to try kill the baby or Atropel before we go and get the push and pull but yeah we don't have enough focus damage we're not going to manage here as a rogue you can try get bleeds on both of them that's why i do switch between them a bit you may have noticed that dodge there earlier i got a bit of a heart skip there when i did that first but as long as you're not holding out any movement keys while you're dodging you're not going to roll over an edge like that here we get the actual push and pull. We did just didn't get him down. And yeah, you need to practice that from in Cradle of the Death God and you'll manage it. And then luckily nobody died to that. 
it's fairly straightforward once you get it but there's always the risk of getting a little bit of lag and then well you're you're gone and same with Zarya she can push you off and well well now we're into phase four and this is where things get a bit tricky same with phase six you need to kill all four beholders along with taking a lot of damage from four of them you have tanks taking hits from two usually you have them tanks need to manage their threat on both of them so that dps aren't taking the threat and dying anyway it's quite the challenge compared to any other content like that you don't have that challenge as a tank having to hold threat on both at once building enough to balance with the damage of the damage dealers and then healers have to continually continually rotate and move with everybody and it gets worse when everybody takes so much damage in phase six you'll see that again it's a pretty identical phase it's just there's the mini laser to give everybody more damage we're gonna go artifact call here again just after this spread we dodge excellent hopefully we didn't kill anybody and we go artifact call <laughs> it's all about the timing on that one you can read my document about this um, trial if you want to uh, but there's a lot to learn and i don't really think the trial is worth running anymore for a newer player if you were to get into this there's the rewards are not, not really worth it compared to just going into uh, demon web pits to be honest one thing i really love so much about the rogue gameplay is deft strike it's freaking amazing i like that they buffed it to make it a little bit more viable but that's that teleport is awesome i wish every class had a power like that it would be amazing i don't play rogue nearly enough and that's just really cool. We get screwed over too many times by this blue. Somebody's not moving it. Okay, now we have cubes. Some people do get those uh, those things above their heads. They need to jump inside a cube. I can just focus on dealing damage. Hopefully there's enough mitigation and I don't die. Not much else I can do except pray and hope. Now here I should be breaking out cubes. So we need to go and yeah, help the guys get them out that cube never got used apparently don't know why maybe we didn't kill any cube and there was four of them and we managed yeah so that was the dodge there again it's good to have somebody in a discord call who's going to call the mechanic for you and you know when to dodge or those hands come up underneath you and deal an absolute ton of damage they can kill you if you take a bit of extra damage and not full hp or i guess they crit and you don't have good stats so this is phase six where things get a bit dicey. We do use artifacts here to try and make sure we're killing that first beholder. Moving to the next, I made sure to wait till my death strike just a little bit, but we did take threat there. Managed to not die. The laser comes. I think it just misses me there, does not do any damage. And the laser is going to stop in the middle. We just roll over just in time and we can teleport behind this guy. And then hopefully the axe one's gone and that's it. That phase 6 will cause a wipe in so many groups. That is where we got stuck for like a week or two. Just not being able to get past that without people being dead dead. From collecting skulls in the earlier phases. And then just not having enough lives to get through that. Not doing it quickly enough with regards to damage. And yeah, healers healing us through it. And it's ultimately, yeah, quite a fun trial, this one. I definitely had some good times learning this and playing it. And compared to the Moon Dancer, it is 10 times better. Moon Dancer is just a bit of a mess with not a lot of fun. Too much hit points, not enough mechanics. And yeah, just, just it's easy to be honest. And I guess that's fine in a way for more casual players. But for endgame players, it's disappointing especially that the rewards are not sellable at all this trial at least has a set you can sell we even get lucky and get one of the pieces of the set they don't sell for that much more these days especially that more more people are actually doing this trial just because there's nothing else to do in the game ultimately that's the entire run hopefully you enjoyed 
we just need to buy our key here and then we can go and open the second chest we want to get a wand of domination that's the jackpot prize from this trial it used to sell for five million i made a ton of astral diamonds from this trial compared to any other in the past thanks everybody again for that run it was good fun thanks for Mitrix for inviting me and we did not do so bad in terms of damage i technically came second if you don't count my companion underperforming because i'm still using pseudo dragon i can't be bothered upgrading something better the green scale bowman's an awful lot better here and the war drummer's the best the war drummer is the best because of that automatic damage but there's not much point more than like two people running war drummers or they end up just like stealing damage off each other my personal damage log is here and yeah you see that 23 percent toxic blades follows by 14 percent duelist flurry from the mirage weapons so that's a lot of just automatic damage this run was like my first time here as assassin i had been here before with whisper knife it's my second run, I believe. The first one I didn't record or something, but we still got pretty screwed over by mechanics getting the extra skulls that didn't help. And then just, I didn't really optimize my damage against these ads at all. I think some bad smoke bomb placements. Rogue itself can do a lot better here when you have better time on target. And even without toxic blades, you can still top the charts and beat everybody just a lot more effort and i'm sure i missed a lot of damage by my build being yeah pretty pretty scuffed not reaching caps when using these rings here and then i was on a debuff enhancement here as well meaning i'm missing a lot of accuracy too but again we did fine we carried our weight in terms of damage in that run so with that said thanks for watching and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now